Court rules influencer Ian Bailina violated securities laws promoting SBRK tokens. Hong Jifeng last updated. May 24, 2024, 223 EDT 1 Minute Read. A U.S. District Court has found crypto influencer Ian Bailina guilty of violating U.S. securities laws. According to recent court filings, Judge David Allen Ezra ruled that Bailina was guilty promoting and selling SBRK tokens without proper disclosure. The judge ruled that SBRK tokens met the criteria of the Howey test, making them securities. Unlawful. Promotion without proper disclosure. Bailina faced charges in September 2022 due to his participation in the unregistered initial coin offering ICO of SBRK tokens. The Securities and Exchange Commission second contended that these tokens necessitated appropriate registration and disclosure. The court found that Ian Bailina engaged in promoting and selling SBRK tokens through various social media platforms, including YouTube and Telegram. Bailina did not disclose that he was receiving compensation of a 30% bonus for these promotions, which the court determined was a violation of Section 17B of the Securities Act. Bailina organized an investment pool where he offered SBRK tokens to investors. The second highlighted that he failed to properly disclose his financial interest in the tokens he received from Sparkster, the company behind SBRK. The second stated that the token offering raised approximately $30 million from nearly 4,000 investors located abroad and in the U.S. from April to July 2018. Ian Bailina's response to seconds charges. Bailina's website posted a response to the seconds baseless charges saying, this is the first time a private pre-sale purchase of a digital asset token has been accused of being compensation in exchange for publicity. The Security and Exchange Second Enforcement Division's proposed charges against Mr. Bellina are an unfounded effort based upon multiple misconceptions of fact and law, enumerated below, the post reads. The response asserted that Bellina did not receive any compensation, and there is no evidence to support such allegations. It also claimed that he did not profit from his purchase, suggesting that he might be a victim of fraud by the Sparkster team, similar to other investors. Follow us on Google News. 